let's see, what are we doing? Margaritas. <sighs> Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today, we are making five margaritas. That's 10. We're making five margaritas because we are coming up on Cinco de Mayo. And Cinco means five. Today, I'm gonna to show you five easy to make margaritas. Well, no, maybe not all extremely simple. There are some that are a little bit more involved. These margaritas cover sour, sweet, spicy, smoky, floral, even a little bit of bitterness. This is a good list. And you can enjoy this fantastic day of Mayo. I, let's just jump in. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes and let's go make a plethora of margaritas to the bar. Number one, the classic margarita. This is where it all started. This is very simple. It's tequila, lime juice, orange liqueur. Now, the orange liqueur, a lot of people will do triple sec. I'm gonna be using curacao throughout this video because it's a little bit richer. I like it against the tart lime. Now the tequila, I'm using reposado. You can use whatever your favorite tequila is and Yeho might be a little bit pricey for a margarita madness situation. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. To make a classic margarita, take a piece of lime and I rub that on one side of the glass. Then I roll that in coarse salt. I like to put the salt on half, so I have the option of drinking it with salt or without salt. Set that off to the side and we can go ahead and build this cocktail. So in a shaking tin, two ounces of Reposado tequila, one ounce of orange curacao, and one ounce of lime juice. Add ice and shake. Now we don't have to shake it for too long because we're gonna pour this on the rocks. Strain into your glass. No need to double strain. Garnish it with a lime wheel. You're good to go. You can have this one up. It's a delight. And uh, yeah, go sit in the sun and drink this. Number two. I don't have good names for these margaritas. I'm gonna be very straightforward as to what you can expect with this margarita. So number two, smoky spicy margarita. All right, for this cocktail, I am replacing the Reposado tequila with mezcal. Mezcal is a little bit smokier. Uh, this one in particular tastes like a tire fire in a good way, yeah. It's the best part of the tire. Instead of salt on the rim, I am going to add tahini. How would you describe tahini? It's like crushed peppers and salt and kind of citrusy. It's just yummy. It's really good on watermelon, believe it or not, on mangoes. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Now, in a tin, Muddle two or three slices of jalapeno. That depends on how spicy you want. When I muddle this, I do like to do it in the cheater tin. It's easier for me to get the muddler to the bottom of the cheater tin. In the big tin, we can go ahead and make the drink. So we'll need two ounces of mezcal, one ounce of orange curacao, one ounce of lime juice, and I'm gonna add quarter of an ounce of agave nectar. This is gonna give the cocktail a little weight. It's also gonna round off that spicy jalapeno. Add ice and shake. This one we are gonna double strain to get all of the jalapeno bits. Strain it over ice into the glass. Garnish with a lime wheel. Outstanding, that heat will stay with you. So now we're gonna tone that down by going the sweet direction. Next, we have the classic blended strawberry margarita. But before we move on, from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Caldera Lab. Caldera Lab makes men's self-care products such as this stuff, the good multifunctional serum. We're all aging, but most of us don't wanna age quite so rapidly. It addresses fine lines, wrinkles, uneven skin tones, and just in general, tired looking faces. They take 27 herbs and botanicals and infuse them over four weeks. Kinda like a good bottle of gin. Gin for your skin. Don't drink it. Topical. Try it. 60 days, if you don't absolutely love it, Caldera Lab will give you your money back. No questions asked. Also, everything they make is cruelty-free, non-toxic, and 2% of the proceeds go to vetted nonprofits, so you can feel good about looking good. Visit Caldera Lab, use the code Ericsson to get 20% off your purchase, or click on the link down below. That's the stuff. It's exhilarating. <sighs> oh, I look great. Thank you, Caldera Lab. Back to the video. The blended strawberry margarita is a real treat. Growing up, when I learned what a margarita was, I thought you had two ways of having it. One was with lime and the other was strawberry. I grew up where margaritas weren't a natural thing. <laughs> now to make this drink, into a shaking tin, add some frozen strawberries. I don't know, I'd say like a heaping cup's worth and add two ounces of Reposado tequila, one ounce of curacao, half an ounce of agave nectar, 
one ounce of lime juice. Now you could blend this up as it is right now and it would be a smoothie consistency. Or if you want a thicker consistency, then you can add half a cup of crushed ice. Quarter cup, half cup, then we can blend it up. I'm using an immersion blender, but I will say it's probably best to use a stand blender. It's easier, the blender is stronger, and you're not having to fight frozen strawberries. Once it's all blended up, pour it into a chilled double old fashioned glass and garnish with a strawberry. Oh, and a straw. Yep, this is a sure way to get brain freeze. And if you think you're too much of a man to drink a strawberry margarita, just get over it. Uh, what was next? Oh yeah, so this next one, I thought let's make something a little different. We are gonna call this one the grapefruit ginger margarita. If you have better names for these cocktails, let me know in the comments down below. But this one, you're gonna taste grapefruit and you're gonna taste ginger. Start with your salt rimmed glass in a shaking tin, two ounces of Reposado tequila, three quarters of an ounce of orange curacao, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, three quarters of an ounce of grapefruit, and one quarter ounce of ginger syrup. You're gonna add ice and shake, strain into your glass. Express some grapefruit oil on the top and garnish with a lime wheel. And it's also good with a little candied ginger if you have it. Bartender, slow down, slow down. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Whoever came up with that one is pretty brilliant. I do like how it finishes slightly bitter with a little heat from the ginger. Enough chit chat. Let's go on to the last one. Now the last margarita is arguably the most beautiful margarita you're ever gonna see. This drink was created by Shannon Mustafer. If you don't know who Shannon Mustafer is, well, now you do. She's a very talented bartender who wrote a very good book, Tiki, Modern Tropical Cocktails. I'll leave a link down below. This is the hibiscus margarita. It's not in the book, but that's why I'm gonna tell you about it now. This one is a little bit more involved. You must start with an hibiscus syrup. What I did is I took Shannon's recipe and I essentially just cut it in half. To make the hibiscus syrup, you're gonna start with two cinnamon sticks and three cloves. Throw that over low heat, 30 seconds or so. You're toasting them. You'll notice it's gonna start smelling good. Then add a quarter cup of dried hibiscus flowers. Toast that for about another 30 seconds or so. Once you can smell the hibiscus, go ahead and add two cups of simple syrup. Now, we're gonna let that simmer for about 20 minutes. Don't boil it, just a low simmer. Come back after 20 minutes, take it off heat, let it sit for one hour. After one hour, the infusion is complete. You can filter off all of the solids and you have your syrup. So the, making the cocktail is actually much easier than the syrup. So go ahead, start with your regular salt rim glass in a shaking tin. Add one and a half ounces of Reposado tequila. I believe Shannon used a silver tequila. It's up to you. Then add three quarters of an ounce of your hibiscus syrup, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, and quarter of an ounce of curacao. Add ice and shake, strain into your glass, garnish with a lime wheel. Look at that, is it not such a beautiful color? That really is outstanding. Shannon, thank you for sharing this recipe. And now I will share it to others. There, wow. Let me know in the comments down below which one you're gonna make, if not all of them. And thank you to my friends, Carl and Riley over at Alchemix Bar for making this coaster. You have excellent coaster making skills. Thank you Caldera Lab for sponsoring today's video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Oh, and happy Cinco de Mayo. Cheers. Oh, and if you wanna watch a video on me making syrups, click on this one. Uh, if you wanna see my most recent video, click that one. And uh, click on my face to subscribe.